Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to learn how we can use the HTU21DF temperature and relative humidity sensor. We're going to explain the module, then we will have a look at the data sheet, then I'm going to show you the wiring, after that the code will be explained, and then we're going to test it with applying some heat gun and display the temperature on the serial monitor. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. This temperature sensor HTU21DF is made by me. This is a measurement company that produces different chips. And the range for this one is better with comparing to other devices that we have. It can measure from minus 40 degrees Celsius up to 125 degrees Celsius in terms of temperature and relative humidity, of course, from 0 to 100 percent. And the resolution is 0.04 percent, very accurate. And the, the response time is very quick. Amount of energy that it needs when it is not measuring is 0.04 microampere. And when it, is, when it measures, it will be around 400 microampere, which is very low. It's uh, suitable for many applications, especially if you are powering it with a battery. We'll provide you the link for the library. There will be a link directly from robojax.com because the library might change and it might not work, the code that I'm providing. And also, I'm going to provide the actual Adafruit link to GitHub so you can get it from GitHub website. And DF temperature sensor. This is also offered for, I'm using the uh, Adafruit library. This is sold on Adafruit. If you want to purchase that one, the code will work exactly. The explanation, everything is the same, so we can use it. This is actual sensor, so if you purchase it from Adafruit, it, it will work. So these are accessory component with very little uh, pieces. This will work with 3.3 volts, but if you purchase it from Adafruit, uh, they have included a, a voltage regulator that can work with 5 volts. 3.3 volts ground, SDA. That's the data and SCL, that is a clock pin for I2C communication. So you need two wires to, to read the value, two wires to power this up. So you receive it, you might not have these pins soldered, so insert them either from this side or from this side and solder it as you like, and then we proceed. This item is sold on eBay and AliExpress and Amazon for different prices between two to, to fifteen dollars. Here's a data sheet for this. HTU21DF. This is made by by Mies. Let's have a look for some of the specs. The voltage supply can be from 1.5 up to 3.6, so we are using 3.3 volts, not 3. The current that it consumes when it doesn't uh, read, it's 0.02 microampere. It's very very minimal. And once it's measuring, it will be 450 microampere, typical. Here is the resolution for uh, relative humidity is 0.04 percent. For the temperature, it can go, it can display from minus 40 to plus 125 degrees. I will provide you the link in case you, in case if you need further reading. If you need a wiring diagram for this, it will be available as part of my Arduino course on Udemy. The link is below the video. You can click and, and purchase the course, which includes all the library, all the diagram, everything in one place. Let me explain the wiring. I've connected here four wires this way when you see the chip at the top. These four wires are uh, arranged this way. The left wire is connected to 3.3 to volts. The second wire is red, it is connected to the ground. And then we have SDA and SCL. SDA is connected to pin A4 and SCL is connected to A5. Let me now explain the code. First, you have to download and install the library, the link will be provided. Click on the link, save the zip file in your computer. Go to sketch, include library, add.zip library. Once you clicked, 
point it to the zip file where you are saved. For example, in this case, I have a zip file. This is not a driver, but just an example. This is not the library. Click on that zip file that you have downloaded the library. Click open. After that, close Arduino. Make sure all instance. For example, if I click down, you will see I have three instances of this. All of this must, must be closed. So close them and reopen it. After that, click on File, Examples, scroll down until you will see Adafruit HTUD21DF. And there is only one uh, file which says HTUD21DF test. And this is the program. Uh, I've modified it, but I'm going to explain this first here. This line is wire.h. It's part of Arduino library that uh, facilitates the I2C communication. You don't need to download anything. It's already there. This other fruit, HTU21DF, uh, you have just downloaded and included. This is facilitating or doing all the registers, reading the temperature and the values. And from that uh, class, we are creating an instance, an object. We call it HTU. And this line will facilitate that so this object is being created inside the setup we are initializing the serial monitor with 9600 baud this is the communication speed of uh, serial monitor and the value is on the right corner here 9600 it must match then we print this text and here it, it this means not if htu.begin is not initialized, there is an issue. So if this is true, then we print this, could not find the sensor. And while one, this while true, one is true, while one, while this is true, stay here forever. So the program will not proceed further from this line. Inside the loop, we use htu.read temperature. This is reading the temperature. This is a method inside this object, which have defined above. And this is a number, which will be the temperature in Celsius. We are storing it in a variable called temp of a type float. And then the same thing, read humidity. We read the humidity and store it in a, 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 a relative humidity, rel underscore hum variable of type float. So we have two values. Then we print the temperature, the text. This is inside a quotation. And this, this is actual values. You see, without a quote, we print it and then they print with a C. The next program, which I've modified it, it will actually print the uh, degree symbol. And then we, this is double tab, two tab, this un backslash T means one tab, this is mean two tab. So between this line that it prints, we have two tabs, and then we print humidity, the same thing, uh, relative humidity with percent at the end. And then we wait 500 milliseconds, and the loop continuously doing the same thing. And here is, let's say you want to do based on, uh, based on temperature, you want to do some action. For example, if temperature is greater than 85 degrees, and you want to do something, so you type F temperature greater than 85. This open and close means whatever you do will be here. For example, you want to send pen two high. So let's say pen two. Hi. So if there is a relay or light or something, pin 2 will be turned on. And if there's a buzzer or something, it will be on. Or you can do it the other way. If it is less than 85, do something. Let's say you want to turn on if the temperature decreases below 85, you want to turn on some heater. Or you can, you can turn something off. You just type low here. The code is uploaded now. Open the serial monitor. It prints the temperature and humidity with a uh, percent here. Because there is two tab, one tab, another tab, it shows the temperature. I was running the test earlier. It shows 28.9 degrees. Let me just apply heat. As you can see, the temperature increased about 90 and humidity is decreased. 
6% around this device. Here is a modified code. Up to this portion is the same. Inside the setup, all of this is the same. So let me explain inside the loop. But before that, I have to mention that I've written one function called get htu, and that's for the module. And then you pass inside the single quote, you pass a character. Capital C means give me the temperature in Celsius. So this will give you the Celsius, and this will print it on the screen. And after this, this is without any new line, immediately we print the degree. Degree symbol also needs two different lines with serial monitor, so I've created a function, so the, this code will look cleaner, and then at the end we print the capital C. The same way we get, we use get HCU with instance inside single quotation F, that is Fahrenheit, prints the degree, and F. Then I've converted, I've written, uh, if you pass K, it will give you the Kelvin, and if you pass uh, H, it will give you the humidity. And here, for example, in this case, if you, you want to do something, if the temperature in Celsius is greater than 81 degrees, you, here you can do F. This is a temperature greater than 81. This open and closing parenthesis means whatever you have, you can have multiple lines here to do something. For example, digital write pen 5 high. So if the temperature is above 85 degrees and you want to turn on a fan, this way you can uh, send pen 5 high and then you can have a relay that will turn on a fan. Or you can do the opposite. If the temperature is below 85, do something, for example, turn the heater on or maybe turn something off. So it's up to you, whatever you want to do with this. Now let me explain this function. The function is called get htu and it returns a float. This type that you type here at the beginning, it will it means that it returns a value and this is a type. The type is float with a decimal point. And here's car type, so that's the letter that you pass. Float value is a value that we are returning. First we are reading the temperature, storing it in a variable exactly the same as code, the code as before, as original code, as a float, and we are reading humidity. These two are done. Here we check this type at the top. Type if it is equal equal, this two equal mean compare F, the type is equal capital F, then we get the temperature which is in Celsius multiplied by 9 over 5 plus 32 which converts it to Fahrenheit and sets to this value. So this now we can Fahrenheit that value. If that is not F, if it is K or Kelvin, we add 273.15, this will give you the Kelvin and store it in value. If it is H, humidity, we get uh, relative humidity and store it here. If we need temp, otherwise, this else means otherwise, it must be Celsius, so we get uh, set the value to Celsius. And then we return the value, whatever has set above will be returned. Now, this line, print degree will print the degree so we need in order to print the degree symbol and the serial monitor we need to put of c2 and of b0 these two must be printed side by side in order to get the that symbol open the serial monitor you will see that it shows Let me stop it. It shows the humidity 47.25%, the temperature in Celsius, the temperature in Fahrenheit, and the temperature in Kelvin. And I put here two spaces, so continuously it does uh, print the same thing. It shows the humidity 47.25%, the temperature in Celsius, the temperature in Fahrenheit, and the temperature in Kelvin. And I put here two spaces, so continuously it does uh, print the same thing. And now here is my heat gun. And here, now I'm applying the heat via this heat gun. So the temperature can increase and we will see the maximum temperature that this can measure is 125 degrees. Please pay attention 
to the Celsius. As you can see, it shows 54 degrees. It's 106 degrees. Let's see if we go above 125, what happens? As you can see, we see now it's, it shows zero. Perhaps after 125, it just cannot display it properly, so it shuts off. Let's change this to one second so we can have time to read it. 43 degrees, 43 point. I would like to sincerely thank the following people who have supported me via Patreon. Thank you for watching. This was how to use the HTU21DF relative humidity and temperature sensor. If you learned something and like this, please thumb up the video. If you have comment or question, post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, please consider subscribing. This can measure is 125 degrees. Please pay attention to the Celsius, as you can see it shows 54 degrees.